Hello, this is Anna, the Pretty Shepherd, and today I want to tackle some Gen Z hairstyles for super long hair. Disclaimer, obviously there are about two and a half million people who qualify as Gen Z. All of those people will have very, very particular styles and tastes, but after spending shamefully many hours over on TikTok and developing a taste for this new generation's aesthetic, such as crop tops, or the most fun I've ever had with eyeliner since like ever, made me realize that I also want to update my hair. I've been wearing my go-to braid for many years now, something that I just do whenever I wake up in the morning, the literal definition of a go-to hairstyle. <laughs> However, hairstyles over on TikTok are short mm. or they have bangs mm. or crazy colors. I love that for them, but I am just really not ready to do that to my hair. I had to start experimenting and figuring out a way in which I can make this work. Spoiler alert, space buns will be a returning feature in this video. Now, I'm not a Gen Z person myself, however, I do know from my analytics that a lot of you watching are. So, please let me know in a comment if I am doing this right or not. And while we're at the topic of analytics, take a look at this graph. I'm going to ask you to try and, and get that meter a little bit higher up. That would be really, really nice. I would like more subscribers. Also, if you're one of those darling sweet little lambs who is already subscribed to this channel, thank you so much. Thank you. You are the best. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Let's move on to the hairstyle. Whoosh. Okay, so for the first hairstyle, I'll actually need greasier hair than this. More smoothness rather than texture. So let me just show you a really cool magic trick that I've picked up along the years of having super long hair. So this this is how I greasify my hair. Whoa, look at that. That was a really neat magic trick, right? Yep, this is hair in need of a wash. But the same grease that makes it wash day worthy is also what is going to help us create a very sleek look. For this first look, you're going to need one single hair stick and a brush, but I assume you already have a brush. After brushing my hair the usual way, I'm going to flip my head over and brush everything into sort of a tall ponytail. The area that I find needs the most insisting is at the back of the head. We also need to brush out the ponytail itself because all of the knots that were closest to your scalp are now here. Okay, we've got sleek hair and a sleek ponytail. And by the way, you can already sort of see the instant facelift hairstyle concentrated at the top of your head. Your hair literally pulls at your skin a little bit. Like you don't want it to be so tight that it causes baldness, but you know, it definitely takes away a couple of years. <laughs> and now we're going to create a Nautilus bun. All of my viewers who are part of the long hair community probably already know this type of bun. Anyone else who is new here, welcome. Let me show you something really cool. You will hold the ponytail with your left hand with three or four fingers, depending on the length and the thickness of your hair. I'm going to hold it with four and with my right hand, I'm going to smooth it out and create a loop around my hand. Now I'm going to take the hair at the base of the loop and just twist it around the loop itself. The only yet very, very important role of my left hand is to keep that loop secure. Then you're going to take the hair, smooth it out again and just take another turn. Also, I'm kind of trying to hold the hair flat between my thumb and the rest of my hand, like so. I recommend smoothing it out with your fingers, maybe running your fingers through it, because this is going to help us create a sleek look. And if you don't smooth your hair out after every turn or every other turn, then you're going to get bumps in here and that's not very nice. We're left with just a little bit of tail now. I'm just going to tuck it underneath. There we go. You see all the four fingers are holding the loop and I'm going to take my index finger and thumb, push my index finger into the loop and just grab it with my thumb and do the same with my left hand. You see I'm kind of holding it with two fingers on each side and now I'm going to pull it apart just a little bit to spread it. That's going to cause the circles that we made at the base of the loop to unravel a little bit, like to spin, but that's okay, that's okay. Place it around the base of the bun. And this is where you need your hair stick. You're going to lay it on top of the loop on one side, push it under the base and then come out above the other side of the loop. Over, under, over. And this is it. 
Look at that. It's so neat. It's so smooth. Mwah. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> this is so very easy to do and if you try your hands at it a couple of times the steps are going to get much much easier believe me I can do this in my sleep basically now what I additionally like to do with this hairstyle is add a couple of pins in the back because of the baby hairs I like to use these golden ones these are a little bit curved as you can see and I like that a lot because they sit very nicely on my head so I'll just run my hand over my hair and just pin and on the other side as well and the little gold accents are also kind of of this day and age kind of gen z and if you still want to dress it up just a little bit i like to take one of these puffy bows on a barrette just put it at the base of the bun So this is look number one and for the second look which i would say also works better with greasier hair we're going to create not one but two nautilus buns not not a lie not a lie buns not a lloyd not, i think it's not a lie <laughs> Anyway, let's get started. We're going to start this look with the most crucial Gen Z aesthetic choice. The values of which a lot of millennials are highly contesting. The middle parting. After brushing it nice and smooth on both sides, I'm just going to brush it really high up. Yes, we're going for the instant facelift effect again. Same thing as before, after we have the ponytail in the position that we want the bun to be in, we also need to brush out the ponytail itself. And we're just going to create the same kind of nautilus bun, except this time, as I'm only working with half as much hair, I'm only going to leave three fingers for the loop. So I've got my three fingers here, my pinky is out and I am using my thumb to kind of help anchor the hair, smooth it out and flip. Tuck it at the base. We're gonna take the index finger, grab hold, do the same with the left hand, pull it apart just a bit, push the bun through it. Obviously for this look, you're going to need two hair sticks. Over the loop, under the base and over the loop again. There we go. Now the same on the other side. Since I am right-handed, my left hand is a lot worse at doing things. So usually I struggle with my right side bun. And one thing that I found helps me a little bit is not fussing over the direction in which I'm spinning the hair. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. So I'm just going to do whatever is easiest for me. I'm just going to create the loop over the three fingers and use my thumb to anchor it. So now I reach back, pull over, and smooth out and anchor with my thumb always anchor with the thumb so with the turning i don't care if it's symmetrical or not but with the pin i like to put it in from the middle of my head towards the outside because uh, that makes sense gravitationally over the loop into the bun and over the loop again oh and they're pretty symmetrical that's nice as with the previous one we can also add the little pins in the back Today. Wait, I, I think it's... Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's so cute. Now, I wouldn't be me if I wouldn't have thought about accessorizing these. And you can definitely add some flowers or even some bows like these. Though, I have to admit, if you do add the bows or the flowers, you get a lot more of an anime girl vibe, which is awesome. You can roll with that. But I think just the space buns by themselves is a lot more of this time. So this is the second look and as you can see we are definitely making use of that natural grease really nobody is going to be able to notice that you're just a day away from having to wash it it just looks cute let's just move on to some hairstyles which are a lot more suited to frizzy fluffy and voluminous hair and with that awesome little trick that i did just a few minutes ago i bet you're wondering what sort of magic trick am i going to use to make my greasy hair freshly washed again There's there's no magic to it. I'm just gonna wash it. 
Won't you look at that? That is my hair washed, dried, braided, unbraided. No, not in that order. Washed, braided, dried, unbraided. Yes, and now we're ready to tackle the next hairstyle. We are embracing the middle parting and we are also going to part down the hair from the middle of the head to behind the ears. That seems about good. Since I want my hair to stay wavy, I'm not going to brush this out. I'm just going to use my hands and my fingers. We're going to create nautilus buns. Since we are using basically a quarter of a whole head of hair, we are only going to use two fingers when creating the loop. And this time, since the hair is wavy, we don't want that same smoothness as we did before. We don't want to pull quite so tight on the hair, basically just tossing the hair around. I'm not really pulling at it, tuck away. And now, you know the drill, you reach into the loop, pull it apart, push the base through it. The bun is pretty tiny, so we are going to use a pretty small hairpin over, under, over. Okay, okay, I like that. And the same on the right side, I brushed it all up with my fingers and I am going to create the loop with only two fingers. Okay, I'm liking this a lot. And this is the third hairstyle finished right here. Now for the next variation, I am going to take this hairstyle and take it one step further. I'm going to take the hair that is left in the back, split it into half, and I'm going to make two braids out of these two hair pieces. I'm going to add the elastics kind of halfway through the length, partially because I really don't feel like braiding anymore. Uh, and uh, partially because I think that the wavy longer end of the hair gives it a very fun little texture So here we go. You could do tighter buns on top and then you could oh, oh, what's this? What's this? Ooh. Oh, let me just tackle this real quick. As I was saying, I think you could make this hairstyle with greasier hair if you make tighter buns in the front and really tight braids as well. Moving on to the next one, because there's more, there's more. For the final look, I left the front sections as they were. So basically we have a quarter, a quarter and half of the hair in the back. From the front sections, we are going to take off just a tiny little section. That should do. I'm going to clip these together. With the remainder of the hair, we're going to create, surprise, surprise, Nautilus buns. Again, with the wavy texture, I'm only using my fingers to come through, two fingers to create the loop. The exact same thing on the other side. Okay, I am getting some elvish princess vibes from this. <laughs> this is this is really fun. For the next step of this hairstyle, we are going to create a tiny little braid out of this hair. Okay, so I am going to tie this off kind of at the bust level. This is really cute. Let me check in the mirror. Ooh. I'm loving this. However, it is like really super long. So I was thinking I could take one of the braids and just move it, cross it in front of the other bun, move it to the front. That works. The other hair behind the bun, cross. There we go. And I'm just gonna reach under here. That is kind of cute, huh? It is. <laughs> I just really like the texture of wavy hair. It's so much fun. I would not wear this for a work day on the farm. It would drive me crazy. This would also drive me crazy. Like half ups are out of the question for a day when I'm doing physical work. But for a photo shoot, it's fun. I'm 
very happy with all five of these hairstyles and please let me know in a comment if there's any one of these that you would like to wear most. The one that caught your eye most, the one that you found easiest to do, the one that looks most comfortable. I think I'm going to wear the first two the most because half-ups are just not as practical as anything that keeps all of your hair out of your face. But the half-up does do have the added bonus of being very pretty for pictures. And with that, I think I'm gonna go and take some pictures because the sun is setting right now and I want to capture that beautiful golden hour light on my hair. So for more hair videos, subscribe to my channel and I'll be going. Bye bye!